check my staff so online. Proud of anything you they do. Go online. I be proud blogger. Go online. So he media dot com. Go online. Go check my staff so online. Proud of anything you they do. Go online. I would say good morning, but it is not a good morning for some of us. Um, for those who don't know what is going on with the 21, or what's going on in who, 21 members of the LGBTQ plus community were arrested for unlawful assembly. They had rented a conference room in a hotel and they were meeting, exchanging literature, ideas, texture, text about how to survive, navigate, thrive, live, exist in this hostile environment that we Ghanaians have created for the LGBTQ plus community. Some journalists led some police into this space and forcefully arrested 21 people. And as I speak now, the 21 people have been divided into four groups. Some are somewhere at the central whole police station. Yesterday they were moved somewhere else because of overcrowding. Some are at a place called Area 51 police station. Some are at the headquarters. And some are at Deme police station. Um, we were able to visit three of the groups yesterday just to tell them that we are thinking about them and we are trying hard to get them out. Um, yesterday they were supposed to meet with a judge for a bail hearing. The judge did not show up so they have to remain in jail. They've been in jail for over a week now and they have to remain in jail and remand till Tuesday when the judge is available. I'm making this video to update you guys and also to just say like if any of you out there have a way of no people or can make this just stop please do your best please do your best to because imagine like I've, i saw these cells and of course we all i mean some of us know what jail cells look like it's just metal bars, a concrete room, and some kind of window, and some kind of place you can like ease yourself. And you're just lying there, there's no fan, it's just heat, it's crowded. And to be an innocent human being in such a situation, for your life to be on pause, or your life to actually be moving backwards, not knowing what your future is, and for people to be toying with your future is like the most horrible torture or one of the most horrible tortures. Tuesday is super far away. I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah, so that's... I don't really know what else to say about what's going on. But it is wrong. It is not against the law to have a meeting, no matter what the topic is. Um, once it's not subversive to the state, it's not like a meeting to plan a coup d'etat, to see um, evidence of guns and weapons and messages and texts saying that we have to overthrow the government. It's nothing like that. This is people sharing legal books, legally existing. It is not against the law i guess yet for people to meet on lgbtq advocacy and these the people in these groups are part of women's rights advocacies they are part of aids rights advo like aids um education advocacies and so on so it is totally like illegal what is happening to them and I can't understand how those of us who know what is happening is wrong are willing to live with the shame of not trying to do anything about it. I can't understand how my peers and people that have a voice 
can just be quiet and hope this just goes away. They are going to come for all of us, piece by piece, small, small. Because wickedness does not get satisfied. Once they can't find another group of people to demonize or to oppress, they'll come for the next group. And soon we'll all be in these jails for very stupid legal reasons. Very soon we'll be in jail for even making such videos. To just give an update and express concern on an oppression of some people of our people, of ourselves. So um, this video is not to say good morning to anybody. This video is just saying, if you can do something or say something, please do it. Because I can't live with the shame of doing nothing. So try and find the power to do something. I'm in whole. I don't know what else I can do here. They're saying we should go and talk to the chief. I don't know what power the chief has over the police, over the courts. If it's easy to do that, um, we will see the chief and just beg on the behalf of the 21 to be released if he can wield some kind of influence over them. Um, but people who are uh, even connecting us to the chief uh, speaking of sums of money they are going to charge uh, why can't we just help each other and later receive appreciation without expecting it you know why can't we just be kind to each other and help each other and if somebody is in a position to help you later or come and give thanks then you do it why do you have to charge somebody who is down on the ground like I mean you look around you and who is a beautiful place but something very ugly is going on here right now very very ugly more than Oh, sorry, I can't go without saying like a massive big up to the LGBT rights Ghana. Most of the leaders were on ground yesterday. They were here doing all the rounds, visiting all the jails, talking to, to the innocently jailed 21. And um, it's inspiring to see their conviction, their love, support for each other and their bravery, their bravery to be here because I have the privilege of being a popular person so I have the protection from that, you know, and for LGBT rights Ghana members to be here where it's almost in a way it's like the war zone because if they are looking for us I saw one of the police stations on the wall, I think the Area 51 police station, it says on the wall, they've written it, that any person calling into this station is a potential ally to a culprit. So it's like if you are calling to check on somebody who's been arrested, to see if they have food, if they are fine, whatever, it's like your association with that person automatically criminalizes you by that text. We should stop being wicked. And I know it's hard to do because we are a nation in poverty because of our leadership. We live in poverty and poverty breeds wickedness. And of course, I can't sign out without saying this poverty which we have come to inherit was brought by the colonials. But now there's information on the internet, there's things everywhere, there's ways for us to come out of this with a, by applying dignity, by... Charlie, I'm going for release the 21.
spread kindness. Be a soul rebel. Them. Go check my stuff so online. I'm proud of anything you they do. Go online. I be proud blogger. Go online. So Media.com. Go online. Go check my stuff so online. I'm proud of anything. You